Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're gonna learn how to create your very own fingerstyle intros and fingerstyle outros. Now, the method that I'm gonna show you is actually pretty simple. Uh, I use it all the time. It's just basically taking the song's chord progression and taking away the rhythm. Just completely taking away the rhythm and playing the song's chord progression in an abstract way, okay? To create an emotional experience, to let the audience anticipate what you're gonna play, using a lot of space to let the chords ring out. Now, of course, I don't mean... Yeah, I don't mean this. This is not an outro, this is not an intro, this is just chords. What I mean is, if you take, for example, a song like House of the Rising Sun, okay? If you play it like the animals, Okay, or if you play it uh, in finger style and you play it in Travis Pecking, let's say. Okay, like my arrangement, my finger style arrangement of House of the Rising Sun is in Travis Pecking. So it doesn't really matter what rhythm you use in the song because you're taking that away. You're just using the chords. So for House of the Rising Sun, we have A minor, C, D, F, and then you have two different endings. You have A minor, C, and E, and the second time you have A minor, E, A minor. So basically, you have A minor, C, D, F, and E. So you can use that. Now, the idea here is to be as free and unconfined to a pattern as possible. Okay, for example. Now, I deconstructed the chords. I pulled off some notes to open strings, even the F chord, okay? I opened the first string, then I opened the second string, then I opened the third string, then I opened the fourth, and, and I went back to A minor. Now, of course, you can add a little bit of the scale in there, okay? For example, in the key of A minor, you can add three, okay, the third fret, on the first string, the second string, and on the bass. Okay? And you can also play it on the fifth string. So you can add just small licks in there without being overtly solo-ish. The moment you take away the rhythm, you're free to do anything you want to do. And you see, I'm, I'm drawing out the chords a little bit. I'm letting your, um, I, you right now are my audience. So I'm letting you wait for me to move on to the next chord. I don't change the chords according to a specific tempo. Okay? I draw out the chords to create anticipation. That's what intros and outros are all about. So um, if you want a little bit of bass, okay, you can go bluesy, okay, or just a little bit without vibration, or you can uh, create a whole bass line. Okay, zero, two, three, four on the bass, and then A, chromatically. Or you can just use the scale, okay? Uh, you can play zero, two, and three on the A string. Okay, anything works. Also on the six string. Okay, just don't overdo it. Okay, the idea here is not to repeat any specific idea. Okay, 
you want to be as different from chord to chord as possible. slide to five you can play notes together you can play couplets okay you can it's called double stops okay you can play two strings together As long as you slow down and then speed back up, slow down and speed back up, okay? Don't be predictable. Just be free to play whatever you want. Just take the chord progression, take away the song's rhythm, and presto, you have an intro. Now, you can make this as complicated as you like. You don't have to stay with the basic chord shapes. You can... Uh, you can use the chords all over the neck, okay? It's a great practicing routine as well. Okay. Okay. A minor. C, now D. Okay, now I've taught you all of this before. All these shapes, what they mean, okay, how to make basic chords more interesting. So search for that on Lick and Rip. So you can basically do anything you like. That's how I create intros and outros. You can add solos to it, you can harmonize, you can complicate it, you can change the harmonies if, if you want. Okay, you can change the harmony as well. Okay, turn A minor into a sort of a, an augmented sort of chord. Okay, just change the chords. But why? Why? You want to play an intro to create interest, not to show off your skills. So just let it flow and feel it. Feel it. Okay? So uh, if you want more fingerstyle help, Okay, more structured fingerstyle help. I have my Break Your Boundaries course program. You can check it out at lickandref.com slash courses. Um, so um, I'll see you on the other side and I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Enjoy. Thank you.